Personal log, Lieutenant Commander Amy DePauw reporting. Hmm. I understand this one. It's all too familiar. The people, the events, it's much too familiar. You know how a smell can take you back two years ago? Just as simple as of odors. And the slightest of sounds can bring you directly to the exact moment. That's where I'm at right now. I'm bloody here. Finally. I'm bloody home. full of joy. I'm glad you didn't lose yours. It's been hard. It's not what you would have wanted. I think about her every day. You'll do all right for yourself. You stick with those that support you. Speaking of, does anyone in the network know where the sphere is headed? No. We simply don't have the tools that are needed. Well, I'd hate to contact the Republic with nothing. You know, with Emily's death, I think the silver could use some distraction. Agreed. Keep me posted, gentlemen. I thought they'd never leave. Don't ask. Let's just chalk this up to reasons. Let's just say I don't get to be here very often, and I won't be here very long. You know why I'm here. If it's like my timeline, this was Emily's favorite spot. This is where I proposed to her. Yeah. I take it she's not alive where you're from? I would ask you the same, but given the fact that you're here, that kind of tells me all I need to know. No, she was killed at the incident at Vulcan. The Sukulon incident. I've never heard of them before. How did you cope? Well, the Valiant, as with most of Starfleet, was destroyed. We've really focused on rebuilding. I've thrown myself into my work. So you're not on the Valiant? Oh, I am. 1707A. What about you? How did you cope? <laughs> I also threw myself into my work. The place always felt like home. I couldn't leave it. See, I don't think I could have stayed on the old Valiant. Too many memories. Well, Jack being promoted to the center seat, said he was going to need me if he was going to be captain. That's funny. Mine said the same thing before he offered me the role of first officer. I bet Kennedy loved that. She would have been proud. Wow. So you guys sound like you're close. She was my best friend. Ugh, I can't stand her. She's condescending. I don't mean to talk about your friend. Sort of, friend. Yeah, I get you. Things can get kind of crazy thinking of the what-ifs. But, uh, I gotta get going. I'll leave you to your thoughts. This might help you with some of your problems. Take care. You do the same. It's probably best if I don't mention this, isn't it?
Menard and McCoy. Eric, where have you been? It's kind of hard to explain, Doc. I feel like I've been all over time and space. Am I making any sense? I'm a doctor, not a time board. <laughs> That's all right, Doc. I'm just glad I got back in time. I wouldn't want to miss how it all turns out. <laughs>